asleep. He was upstairs. And he was just a little tiny baby in a crib. And one night, Grandpa had a terrible nightmare. It woke me right up in the middle of the night. And I saw a big wolf sneaking up the hallway to go get my little boy. And I woke up and I went to check to make sure that there was no wolf in his room. And there was no wolf. My little baby was sleeping in the crib. When I woke up the next morning, the door was wide open. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's creepy. <clears throat> yeah, it was creepy. But I am not now, nor have I ever been devoured by a wolf. No. <laughs> no, there was really no wolf in the house. But the, yeah. You know, I don't know what triggered it. I don't know if subconsciously I knew the door was open or mm. I don't know. But mm. I'll tell you what, it gave me a little jolt in the morning. Uh. <laughs> Grandpa. Yes. I want you to get the. I want you to tell me the ghost with the green hand. You like that story, the ghost with the green hand? Think of. Let me see if I know another ghost story. With the green hand. With the green hand. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you that one again. Okay. It, it was about Boy Scouts. It was about a camp with all young Boy Scouts sitting around a campfire just like this, and they were telling stories. And the older Boy Scout, who was their leader, told a story about the ghost with the green hand. He said, after it's dark and the moon comes up and it's the moon is just right, you have to be careful here because right in this area there's a ghost. There's a ghost with the green hand. And if you see a green hand come into your tent, the only thing you can do is put a candy bar in his hand. If you do, he'll go away. If you don't, he's going to come in your tent and blow. So, after the campfire was out and it was really dark and all the Boy Scouts went into their little tents and the moon came up and it was just right, the first little boy was laying down in his tent just falling asleep and he heard outside his tent, he heard and he got afraid. And then he felt something near his bed. And there was a green hand coming under his tent near his bed. So he said, oh, the ghost is going to get me. And then he remembered he had a candy bar in his knapsack. So he put the candy bar in the green hand and it disappeared. And he was OK. The ghost went away. And then a few minutes later, in the next tent, two little boys were sleeping in that tent. And they heard, and they were really afraid. And then they felt something near their bed. And under the tent came a green hand. And they said, oh no, it's the ghost with the green hand. And the other little boy said, give him a candy bar. And they took a candy bar and they put it in the hand and it disappeared. And then in the next tent, the little boy was a little bit small. And he heard, ooh, ooh. And then he felt something near his bed, and a green hand came under the tent, and he grabbed it. And he pulled, and he pulled, and it wasn't a ghost. He ran outside the tent, and it was the scout leader. It was the big boy that told him the story. He was getting all the candy bars from the little boys. He was scaring him with his green hand. He just had his hand painted green. There was no ghost. Hey. The end. <laughs> Did you like that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey We're not doing very well with wait, the fire here, are we? Wait a minute. What happened to my fire? How come it keeps going out? I'm gonna have to go get some liquid boy scout, I think. Wait, I I'm gonna come. You're gonna come? Yeah. You be careful. Oh not so close. You guys stay here. And I'll come back and the people will come back. Um, I don't have to go anywhere yet. I'm going to try this one more time.